Okay, in this video, we're going to set up Windows 10 to work with uh, Centroid CNC software. Um, a few things before we get started. Make sure all Windows updates have been run. And you can do this by going down here and then go to Settings and then Update and Security and then check for updates. And at this point, if you're connected to the internet, Windows is going to go out and check to see if there are any updates. So if you have any, run them, get them all updated before you proceed to move forward with uh, setting Windows 10 up and getting the software installed. So you see here we don't have any updates that need to be done. The other thing you want to do is make sure that your computer, all the drivers are up to date, especially the Ethernet port, because you're going to use the Ethernet port to communicate with Acorn. So make sure all your device drivers are up to date. You do that by either going to the manufacturer of your computer's website or, you know, the manufacturer of the motherboard and checking for updates. Now, we're putting together a computer that's going to drive a CNC machine. So that should be its sole purpose, in my opinion. You do want the ability to connect to the Internet when you need to, whether it's via Wi-Fi uh, which is most likely the case is use Wi-Fi, but turn it off when you're running your machine. And um, the benefits of having internet connectivity is if you need remote support for some reason, you could get some help that way. Or maybe if you're going to download a new version of the software, but you could always use a thumb drive from another computer and, and uh, use a thumb drive to uh, update the software in your computer. So uh, moving along, you want to make sure that uh, you have administrative privileges to make sure that we're set up as an administrator in the search box type control panel and here it is I actually have it pinned down here and to do that you just right click and pin to start and it'll show up down in the taskbar and we're gonna go to user accounts user accounts and you'll see here it says CNC user local account administrator if you need to change it, you click on change your account type. And if you're set to standard, you would change it to administrator. So we're good here. OK, the next thing we want to do is we're going to go to system and security, security and maintenance. And we're going to change security and maintenance settings. Now here we want to uncheck all these options. These are just pop-up messages that may pop up and you don't want them popping up during a CNC session. So we click OK. Now we're going to change user account control settings and we're going to drag this slider all the way down to the bottom and click OK and we'll say yes. Okay, the next thing we're going to go to Control Panel Home. We'll go to System Security and here we're going to turn off Windows Firewall. So we click on Windows Firewall and we're going to go over here turn Windows Firewall on or off. We want to turn it off and we want to turn under Public Network, network Settings we want to turn it off as well we'll click on OK and then we want to change notification settings and we want to make sure it says turn firewall off under private network settings and under public network settings turn windows firewall off is set and we click OK OK we want to go back to control panel home and we're going to go to system and security and now we're going to go to power options All right, we want to we want to look for the high performance option which is not lo listed here, so we're going to go down here and there it is. So we're going to click high performance. And now we're going to go to change plan settings. Click on change advanced power settings. We'll set the hard disk to 0. We're going to go to sleep after setting is never, and that's what we want and hibernate never and we're not going to worry about wake timers 
USB settings, USB selective suspend setting. We're going to disable that so the USB port never goes to sleep. And then we're going to go on down here to the display setting and turn off display after. We're going to change that to zero. And then we click apply and click OK. Okay, we're going to go back to settings. Let's put in date and time settings. And this is set time automatically. It suggested that we turn it off. So we're going to go back and double check to make sure that Windows Firewall is turned off. Um, you want to make sure that you don't have any firewall uh, installed on your computer or it's likely to cause the CNC software not to be able to communicate with uh, Acorn. So you go into System Security, we'll go to Windows Firewall, and you can see here it's off. Now you'll get nagging pop-ups that come up that say, hey, Windows Firewall's off. Just be careful because you can accidentally turn it back on. If you ever have a communications uh, issue with Acorn, uh, the first thing to do is go in and make sure that Windows Firewall is turned off or your firewall is, is, is off. Um, if your firewall is off, then power down Acorn and power down your PC, power Acorn up, and power up your PC and give it another go. But most times it's because Windows Firewall was uh, on or accidentally got turned on.